Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services, and today I'm going to show you how to take a scan of a piece of music using your phone and then send it to a utility on your desktop made by Musitech called Music to XML. And then from there, send it to your favorite music notation software of choice like Finale, Sibelius, or Dorico. So first we'll start by using the app on your phone to take the scan. And for this, I'd recommend that you not use the stock Photos app on your phone, but actually use a music scanning app. In this case, I'm using Genius Scan Plus, which is great because it will automatically process the image and filter out a lot of the noise and other things to make it most useful for scanning software purposes. So let's just take a photo and I'm going to just press this button here and get the image in the frame hit the button and as you can see it already looks nice like a black and white photo and then I'm going to say send it to one of a number of different cloud-based services I could also email it to myself in this case I'm going to use box.com and I'll just send it and then I'll go to my desktop and from there we will uh, send it to the music scanning software music to XML and work with it further I have my PDF file open on my desktop and I'll go to SmartScore Music to XML and click on Open and Recognize PDF or TIFF files. I'll choose my file and it takes a moment to recognize it. I can choose to unify the key and time signatures and then I can also optionally choose to select the instruments based on a predefined list that the program provides. Finally, I have a choice to send it directly to Finale, Sibelius, or Dorico, or to save as Music XML. I've chosen to send it directly to Finale, and just like that, I have my file open in Finale. Let's repeat the process, but choose Sibelius this time. Again, it takes a moment to recognize it. I'll choose Sibelius, keep the default options from Sibelius, and now I have the file open in Sibelius. The recognition process is very quick. However, as you'll see, you may have to do a fair amount of cleanup in your music notation software program of choice. Finally, I'll repeat the process with Dorico. It's important to remember that the source file that SmartScore Music to XML generates is the same regardless of which program it sends it to. The result you'll get will differ based on the notation software, as you can see here. If you want to use another program that supports Music XML, you can also choose to export your file directly to a Music XML file. Of course, you can open a Music XML file in any of the three natively supported programs as well, directly through that program. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.